I was able to leave my job and <laughs> go do lettering full time and that's what I've been doing ever since. But in terms of how does an artist make a living from their work, um, I really do think it's baby steps. So step by step, you slowly make the work that you want to be getting paid for someday. You build the confidence, right? And maybe you have an inner circle who encourages you to share it online or even offline, right? Telling other people about your work, building a portfolio. Um, and you basically just need to get other people to see all this work that you would like to be getting paid for someday. And slowly over time, that typically leads to paid work. But the way that you publish your work and the way that you talk about your work online is certainly, uh, I think, the inroad to getting paid or to, or to making a living from your artwork. That's amazing. That's also a loaded answer. So I would like to, <laughs> to unpack a little bit of Let's all the that. things you, you have said uh, just now. So you, you mentioned that you started as a, you know, working at, in an advertising agency um, and you were working as an art director and you realized that you were not having fun at doing that. So you started to, you took your first steps towards um, changing that. So what, what were those first steps? What were those uh, first steps that took, took you away from that space and led you into the direction of what you're doing nowadays? The first step that comes to mind actually that for me was the most pivotal one was admitting out loud to one of my friends that I'm not happy at my job. That took mm. six, it was six months in the making. I, I held it close to my chest. It felt wrong to say because it was my dream job for the last four years building up to this. My teachers told me that everyone else wanted this job so I should be grateful. So I had all this brain garbage in my head about, well, okay, maybe the job's not so bad. Maybe I'm the one who's wrong and I'm ungrateful. But at a certain breaking point, I said it out loud to my best friend and that was the moment that I actually started taking real action towards leaving the job. So. Those steps were starting to put together my lettering portfolio in a more serious way, starting to talk about my lettering work in a more serious way online, um, saying that I was open to more freelance work, uh, starting to save more money, right, to be able to have a little more of a financial cushion 